Booker says she is not accepting her suspension. She spoke today for the first time since the governor removed her as supervisor of elections in Palm Beach County. Matt Sesney was there as she was greeted by supporters and protesters. Yeah, Jay, it did get pretty lively out here with the demonstrators, but Susan Booker today insisted she's done nothing wrong, and the governor, she says, had no right to remove her from this office. The shouting between supporters and opponents of Susan Booker went on as Booker used a microphone to announce she intends to fight her suspension by the governor. It's time to question the rule of law that this governor believes he has to take elected officials from office slander them, and then subject to them to partisan stack jury of his choosing. And that's why I stand before you today thanking you for your support. The problems that plagued the vote recount in Palm Beach County led Governor Ron DeSantis to suspend Booker on Friday. Republican demonstrators shouted their support for the governor. I've been in Palm Beach County now for 19 years, and everything that she's done that I know of in the past 10 years has just been unbelievable. Still, many Democrats object to the Booker suspension, suggesting a Republican governor ousting an elected Democrat is all about politics. This is much bigger than Susan Booker. Now, this is about taking away our right here as citizens of Palm Beach County to elect our own officials. Are you ready to fight with me? Yeah. I'm ready to fight about it. While promising to fight, Booker is not exactly saying how she'll go about getting her job back. I'm reviewing my legal options. Always. And Susan Booker tells me she is talking with an attorney. She also told supporters today she does plan to reveal what her next move will be soon. Live in suburban West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.